in the news currently i have many articles lined up from last week and one of these articles is from independent online where it says here's what you need to know about the city of cape town's informant reward system and uh, this is just a forerunner that's been going on for some time uh, that will build up to a social credit scoring system and um, if you actually understand the transition and how china has implemented it then you will see that the mentality is there the idea is there and we are so close to a place where politicians are very happy to score us based on how we behave now let's get into this article cape town the city of cape town has dedicated a call line for tips called the informant reward system which was originally established by its safety and security directorate this is obviously jp smith the man is an absolute mad hatter and uh, you know if you think of a new world order being created he's standing for in the core uh, right at the forefront of the spear to to establish this new order that they absolutely love which takes away all your freedom the line has been set up to ensure that tips for rewards are channeled correctly says mayoral committee member for safety and security jp smith the city safety and security directorate formulated the informant reward policy in 2013 smith said so it's been there for a long time except you can get a lot more money now than before the concept is that a reward is payable to any person who provides information that leads to an arrest or the successful confiscation or recovery of stolen goods or contraband not that you have a society that happily wants to speak to the police and inform them of any wrongdoing no you have to pay people money this is bribery and corruption this is the very same reason why jp smith has his seat because he got like the people in the da so that they like him so that they elect him as a councillor within their own processes so that when you vote for the da he's close to the top of the list and gets a nice cushy uh, seat and as a member of the mayoral committee he earns a fat salary okay so he's been there for a very long time and people think this person is absolutely wonderful initially the, re the reward received was a thousand rand but it has since been increased to five thousand rand your taxpayers money being used to reward people for something that they should normally do because if you know about a crime the law says that you're a criminal for not reporting it so if you are not willing to do that if people are not willing to do that it tells you there's something wrong with the system so what you need to do jp smith is not bribe people what you need to do is change the system so that people are willing feel free to trust the police trust the system but that is not the case is it so you have to bribe them with money how common and debased can you get let me continue smith said the system was implemented to assist the city's enforcement agencies he said in recent years more departments within the city of cape town have started feeling the brunt of the theft and vandalism of critical infrastructure and have begun using the reward system so it sounds like when their departments get hurt through theft etc the reward system will reward people for blitting on people stealing from the city it is for this reason that we have decided to establish a dedicated number for these tips for rewards to streamline the process of following up on tips said smith residents can report crime and by law offenses anonymously 24 hours a day they give the number the system is not open to people under the age of 18 because under the age of 18 you can't have eyes and you obviously can't understand what you are seeing now this tells you immediately this is utter nonsense any person should be able to be a witness should be able to be seen as a credible witness and money should not be involved at all we should have communities where people are willing to speak up against what is happening around them but you see people like you jp smith have established the systems that makes it impossible for people to trust you trust the police the metro police or anyone else now you have to bribe them with money it's not going to work jp smith because at the end of the day people do not trust you at all only the politicians and those that sing your praises because you help them to secure seats 
in the council. Only those people are going to sing your praises and people will rock up in their DA buses paid for by taxpayers' money to come and support you at your events. And uh, because I've seen it with my own eyes, I can report on that. Tips received by the dedicated tip-off lines are relayed to the relevant city agency. Once they've made an arrest or confiscation, etc., they will submit the application for consideration by the Rewards for Information Committee, Smith added. We do have to caution the public that it could take several weeks or months after the arrest or confiscation is made for the reward to be paid out once all relevant administrative processes have been completed. It is a dead duck, manier. You are not in touch with the people on the ground. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon so you can receive notification for new videos. You will find a link to this article in the description below this video as well as in the first comment. Thank you very much. Till the next video.